Joe here with the Rideshare Guy, and today we're going to go over the requirements to become a Lyft driver. All right, so let's jump right in. First, there's the age requirement, and this varies by region, but the age required to drive for Lyft ranges anywhere from 21 to 25 years old. And again, that age does vary by region, but for example, here in Minnesota, the required age is 25 years old. Now, as far as vehicle requirements, all Lyft vehicles must have four doors and a minimum of five seat belts. And additional vehicle requirements vary based on your region's requirements. So here's a look at what those vehicle requirements are here in my state of Minnesota. If you drive in Duluth, Minnesota, your vehicle must be at least a 2011 or newer. And if you drive in Minneapolis and St. Paul, your vehicle must be a 2006 or newer. And it does say that 2009 vehicles and older must have less than 150,000 miles. In all other cities, your vehicle needs to be a 2005 or newer. Again, it must have four doors. It must include five to eight seats, including the driver's seat. It cannot be a taxi or stretch limo, and it cannot be titled as salvage, non-repairable, rebuilt, or any other equivalent classification. And again, you'll wanna look at your region's specific vehicle requirements, and we'll leave links in the description. Also, your driving history. Some states require you to have at least one year of licensed driving experience. Here's a list of those. California, Hawaii, Illinois, Massachusetts, Minnesota, Oregon, Pennsylvania, Vermont, and Washington. All right, next you'll have to go through a background check. And currently background checks can take several weeks to process and may be delayed due to court or DMV closures caused by COVID-19. For the background check, US drivers must provide a valid social security number. And those background checks are run by a third party company called Checker. And you can actually check the status of your background check by logging into the Checker applicant portal. Now, as far as the specifics of the background check, you may be ineligible to drive on the Lyft platform if your results reveal some of these things. Listed on the National Sex Offender Registry database, have been convicted of a disqualifying violent crime, a sexual offense, an act of terror. And on these four things, the time frame may vary based on regional jurisdictions, driving under the influence of alcohol or drugs in the past seven years, a disqualifying fraud-related offense in the past seven years, a disqualifying drug-related offense in the past seven years, or a disqualifying theft or property damage offense in the past seven years. All right, now you will also undergo a DMV check, and that check is run by another third-party company called Safety Holdings, Inc. You may be disqualified if you have four or more moving violations in the past three years, a single major moving violation in the past three years, a DUI or other drug-related driving violation in the past seven years, and again, that time frame may vary based on regional jurisdictions, or a serious driving-related conviction in the past seven years. And Lyft does enroll active drivers into DMV record continuous monitoring, which does notify them of any new violations. And Lyft does reserve the right to disqualify a driver at any time should your driving record reveal any disqualifying information or for any other safety-related reason. All right, now as far as driver's license, license plates, and insurance, you must have a current and valid driver's license, you must have valid plates with current registration, and you must have current and valid insurance with your name on the policy. And your specific region may not require your name to be printed on your insurance policy. And if your insurance policy doesn't have your name listed, you'll need to get a declaration page from your insurance company with your name. Now, overall, as far as insurance, what you're going to want to do is let your current insurer know that you're looking into becoming a rideshare driver and try to get a rideshare endorsement. And now would probably be the time to shop around with different insurance providers. You actually want to do this every once in a while just to make sure that you're getting the lowest rate. Also, you will need to get your vehicle inspected by an ASC certified mechanic. And a lot of shops complete these inspections all the time, so they should have the form that you need for the inspection. But in case the shop doesn't have the form, you will need to print one out. And as far as the cost, it may vary by shop. I personally go to Midas. I've been going there for years. I believe the cost is like $38, and that inspection will qualify me for Lyft and Uber. All right, now also, you must complete the Community Safety Education Program. Lyft is committed to educating their community on appropriate behavior in a Lyft ride, and to help prevent unpleasant experiences, they've developed a community safety education program. And this is just completed online. You watch a few videos and answer a few questions. All right, so those are the requirements. Again, a lot of these requirements will vary by region, so you wanna make sure to check your region's specific requirements, and we will leave a link in the description. And if you would like to sign up to become a Lyft driver, we will leave our referral link in the description. Thanks again for watching. Please like, comment, or subscribe and drive safe. Thanks.